In this video, I'm talking all about the Puppet Tool, and that is right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films. And yes, in this video, we're talking all about the Puppet Tool. And in order to do that, we're gonna jump right into Adobe After Effects. Now, inside of After Effects, we want to begin by creating a brand new composition. So we'll go new composition. We can rename this to Puppet Tool. Make sure the width is 1920 and the height is 1080. Then we'll go ahead and we'll change the duration to 10 seconds. So once we're inside of Adobe After Effects, we want to begin by creating a brand new shape. So we're going to go up to the rectangle tool on the top of After Effects, select the rectangle tool. We'll change the fill to a nice blue. Press OK on that and we'll change the stroke to white and then we'll increase the stroke to around five. Now, draw a rectangle in the center of the composition, and then you can go ahead and you can center this up by using the proportional grid. So we'll just center that up so that it is roughly in the center, and then we'll turn the proportional grid back off. The Puppet Pen tool works by creating joints within an object. So it's basically enabling us to animate and add movement to objects. So, Basically, it works as a join. So if I was to use a puppet tool on a human character, I would put a pin on the wrist to move the wrist, pin here to move the elbow, pin on the shoulder to move this, and it's basically acting as joints. So I'm gonna use this line as an example. So we're gonna go ahead and select the shape layer. We'll go up to the puppet pin tool, so that is the puppet position pin tool, and we'll create three points on a rectangle. So we'll create one on the left, one in the middle, and one on the very right. Now, we'll pull this bottom part of After Effects up. We'll go into Effects, Puppet, Mesh 1, Deform, and then we have Puppet Pin 3, 2, and 1. Hold Shift and select all of those. Use the drop down arrow to open them all up. And as you can see, we have these keyframes created roughly two seconds into the video. So I'm just going to select all three of those and drag those back to the very beginning. Now we'll move one second over towards the right. So we'll go one second and I'm just going to change the position of the right puppet pin. So in this example, that is puppet pin three. And we're just going to move this up. And as you can see, we are animating the position of the right side of this shape. So if we play this back, the right side bends up. And of course we can do the same for all of the other points. So we can select puppet pin two, pull that down, and then puppet pin one will pull up. And we've just animated what looks like a smile. Of course though, you can do more complex things with the puppet pin tool. You can add different points. You can create some really extreme motion. But this is just the real basics of the puppet pin tool. Now you would typically use the puppet pin tool to bring a 2D character to life. And this is how you animate 2D characters. So let me just do you a very quick example of this. And I did do a video covering the animation of a basic 2D character quite recently. I'll link it up in the card so you can go ahead and watch that one. But I'll just quickly show you how the puppet pin tool works with 2D characters. So we're just gonna go ahead and create a bunch of objects. So use the ellipse tool to create a body. Now we'll deselect that to go back into the mask tool, but this time we'll select a rectangle tool. Draw an arm on the right side of the character. Draw an arm on the left side of the character. Draw a leg on the bottom of the character and we'll draw another leg. And then we'll make sure that the circle that is the body is sitting on the very top to hide all of the joints. Now let's target the right arm first. If we select the right arm and we go up into the puppet pin tool and we create three points, we've got the shoulder, the elbow and the wrist. We go into shape layer two, go into effects, puppets, mesh one, deform. We've got all of those three puppet points. So we move a second to the right and we can go ahead and we can change the position of all of these puppet points. And as you can see, we've got this basic arm movement up. We can do the same thing on all of the limbs and we can even do it on the body itself. But that is the basics of the puppet pin tool right inside of Adobe After Effects. 
Now the puppet tool is really powerful and it is a really effective way of adding animation to still characters. So this was just a very basic dive into the puppet tool. So feel free to go into After Effects, experiment with the puppet tool and figure out how you can use it to create a movement to your still images. So if you found this video useful at all, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.